Okay, so this will be a quick overview of the volume control project. And hopefully by the end of this video, you should be able to understand how it's done and how to build your own if you want to. And the main component that you need is the Arduino Leonardo that can act as the USB device, just like your keyboard. And just like a laptop keyboard, it can also send some special multimedia keys, for example, for controlling volume. You just need to use the library hit project, use two push buttons and send the right commands when the buttons are pressed. And as you can see, it only really takes a few lines of code. First, we define the right pins to be inputs. And by setting the input pull up, we say that if the button is not pressed, the input will be high. If the button is pressed, the pin will be low. And in that case, we will either send media volume down or media volume up based on which button is being pressed. Funnily enough, I've just realized today that there is a little bit of dent in the holder of Arduino that you can use to connect the breadboard, which is quite handy. Anyway, back to our project. Using buttons is simple, but I think that the potentiometer will be more suitable for setting the volume. And as you can see, I've also added 10 LEDs to visualize the set volume. The code is still simple and fits on one page. I've tested this project also on the Walkway website, which is a free online Arduino emulator. And since it only have Arduino Uno, I've added some if statements to make sure that the library specific commands are not used when the board is not Arduino Leonardo. That said, turning the potentiometer and lighting up the LEDs should still work as expected. Also, I like this layout, so I wanted to turn this into a PCB, which I have eventually did using the KiCad application, and the PCB was manufactured by PCBWay. There is a link in the video description. If you use it, you can get 10 boards for free and only pay for shipping. And here is the board with the soldered components. The LEDs and the potentiometer is on the front side, while the resistors are on the back side. At this point, the only thing left to do is to snap this on the Arduino board and use some nice big knob for the potentiometer, just so it looks nice. As you can see, I have quite a lot of those. And this is the project running. By turning the knob, you set up the volume and at the same time you light up the LEDs. And it's really up to you what colors you choose, but I quite like the blue ones. Now, if you open the project on the PCBWay website, you can order this board, but you can also scroll all the way down and download the source file for the keycat. And in keycat, do any kind of modifications, maybe replacing the potentiometer with the rotary encoder, or just removing my logo and putting your own. I just want to say I'm perfectly fine with that, you know, do whatever you like. One last thing I did was asking a friend who has laser cutter to cut me the piece of the acrylic in the shape of the board and using the spray paint to make this translucent. You can also get the source files for this using the links below the video. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create this project, there is a video right now on the screen that describes every single detail. If you have any questions or comments, please put those down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thanks and bye.